artist Lydia Gray and in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful liner cut print of one of South Africa's endangered birds. For today's lesson you guys are going to need a liner sheet, a brayer, an ink tray to roll out your ink and I've got liner cut tools. I'm going to be using a spoon to print it with. I don't need an expensive printing press and I've got a chalk and a croquis. Chalk to draw it out first and just plan and then a croquis to really commit to where I want to scrape my lines. Today, we will be carving the grey-crowned crane. They live in southern Africa and are currently endangered. This bird is so beautiful that Uganda made it its national bird, and they also placed it in the center of their flag. At one meter in height, these birds are super elegant and graceful. They love gliding with an impressive wingspan of two meters, but they can also end up being quite goofy. You see, that's because... They love dancing. When a male and a female meet, they get down on the dance floor and share their moves. Any time of the year is a good time to dance. Today, I wanted to carve one in lino because I believe it will make a beautiful print. Step one is to draw your image onto your lino print using basic shapes. I'm now going to take a croquis and start drawing in the final lines that I would like to commit to. I'm now going to use my lino tools. If you see these little sets, the link to buy them is down below. They're very affordable and I'm using amazing uh, lino sheet called Breeze Cut. There are different sizes that I can use to reload your blade. You, sit, you just insert the little stick, knock it and it comes out and you get to load your next one. Bear in mind safety with lino, do not poke out your eye, never ever cut towards your hand. Always move away from your body that if it slips, it does not impale you. We do not want any blood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be very conscious about my mark making techniques and the way I'm going to apply texture. Before you start cutting, just consider these important points. Liner cut printmaking is the opposite of a drawing. You are carving away the negative space. Whatever area you carve will remain white when you print. When carving, I recommend that you swivel the lino, turning it so that the tip of your lino tool is always pointing away from your body and your fingers. When carving a lino, always glide with your tool. Imagine you are an ice skater on ice. You are not digging for gold. Always vary your line quality and your different mark making techniques especially when working on different areas of your subject matter. The plumage of the crown will need a different mark to the beak, to the feathers. I look like I'm working really fast in this video, but I'm actually going quite slow. Think before you cut. You cannot add lino back into your sheet. Remember you have various blade sizes. When you're working on a big area, use a big blade. If you're working on fine detail, use a smaller blade. Mm -hmm. 
There might be areas in your photo reference which can be quite complicated. Simplify them, stylize it, and make it easier to carve. A trick that I have learned over the years that I believe is visually more impactful for your linos is when you create quite a thick outline around your subject matter between the subject and the background. All right, I have applied line quality. Line is one of the seven elements of art and we need to have interesting line quality in our art. Thick, thin, hard, fast, soft, elegant, flowy. We combine all these things to create something that's visually interesting and engaging. So I do feel like I've got that going on here. I do think I'm going to add some patterns in the background so my print isn't boring and I am in the mood for some circles. So let's add some of that. and it looks amazing if I may say so myself so we are going to start by doing a test print you'll notice I've put on an apron because this section is going to get messy just a quick note Lino ink is not acrylic paint acrylic paint dries too quickly but usually we use Lino ink which takes a long time to dry Right, I have placed some linoleum ink, lino ink, in my tray. You'll see that it's very, very sticky. You can add a few drops of water, very little, um, to your ink, just so it moves around and just prints a little bit better. Make sure you've got enough ink. You're going to be doing two or three uh, lino inks. Prints. This is the wonderful thing about Mino is that you can just keep on inking and printing. So first ink print we're going to do is going to be a black. And I am going to roll my ink onto my Lino with my brayer. going to be printing it this way. I've got a nice big white border. I'm going to rest it softly. I'm going to take my clean brayer and start putting pressure. This will not be enough pressure yet. That's why we've got the spoon. This is a cheap way to print without a printing press. I'm going to use a spoon and really start applying pressure. printed this is always my favorite part nice now is a very very good time to see if you like all the line quality is your outline thick enough do you have enough variation do you like the pattern is there anywhere else you can tweak you can go wash your lino tweak it with your lino tools i'm pretty happy with how this came out i do need to press much harder it's not a nice solid print and i think i need more ink before you refine and tweak your lino rinse and wash it with some dishwashing soap dry it with a paper towel and carve areas that need refining once you are 100 percent happy with your carve you are ready to create your final print why not experiment with different colors But now you can keep on printing. You can print on uh, material, make a bag out of this. There's various uh, surfaces you can print on online, which is really, really awesome and creative. You can stack them together and make wrapping paper um, out of your line. 
What's going to be important as an artist is that you now addition your line of cuts that you've made. So if I made 15 of this bird, it would be 1 out of 15, 2 out of 15, 3 out of 15. And I will just write it small with a pencil here in the corner and sign my signature. And that's it for our line of print making beautiful bird project that we've done. I'm artist Lillian Gray. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, please give us a like, a thumbs up, a comment, subscribe to the channel. It really helps our YouTube channel to grow and that enables us to create more amazing content for all of you. Please share with us on our social channels photos of all the beautiful art that you are creating at home. We would love to see. I'm artist Lillian Gray and until next time, 